beautiful blushing bride and what how appropriate that it's on Valentine's Day. I love it. I love it. I believe, Lisa, that James Michener would be proud of you today. You told incredible stories about the different ways that you made the candles and the different ways that you made the centerpieces and you brought a little bit of your history into your wedding and how everything kind of wove together. I also think he would be proud because you use descriptive words to describe yourself and your emotions and how you were feeling and what you're excited about. And then you also have a really good study in depth um, into the topic. So, in fact, I think it might be your whole life right now, right? <laughs> like, you can't get any more in depth than that. So, I think that James would be very proud of you and your speech. One word um, that I would use to describe your speech or describe actually your wedding and you and this beautiful event that you have planned is eclectic. How incredible. You have Monet, right? And you have these beautiful flowers. You have a traditional wedding where you have the church wedding and the reception and the open bar. I mean, that's traditional, right? You've got to have that. And then in the top, to top that off, you have toppers that come from Dun Dungeons and Dragons. You make your own candle. You have, um, are making your own centerpieces based on, what was that? that uh, the scale centerpieces mail. are based on. Scale mail? Yeah, scale <laughs> mail. So I wrote that. So I think, you know, and that's who I see you as also. Just, you know, you have all these really cool attributes and things that you love to do. And, and you're all in. I love that about you and, and your hobbies and the things that you guys do. And you brought a prop. How cool is that? You brought Zach. <laughs> you checked off all of the boxes. Um, to the speech part, as far as the evaluation of the speech part, I think there were only a couple things that I would say. I would say if you could find maybe another word besides excitement, you use that one a lot. But when you're excited, you're excited. Right? And I think maybe just how you use the room a little bit, you could have done that a little bit more. But I think your slides, of course, added so much value and to the speech. Uh, I think that you, um, again, you used Zach as a prop. I think that's fantastic. So um, I'm sorry that you're not in time. I think you did a fabulous job. But congratulations to both of you. And I feel like there's a speech coming after the wedding. So I'm excited to hear that. Congratulations. Thank you.